So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you choose the, the best type of fact shot type of goggles for yourself. So I have a, I have looked at a lot of uh, reviews videos on fact shot type of goggles. Uh, the reviewers all look at which goggles is the best out there. So I think that's the wrong approach. You need to approach approach this by asking yourself the question: which goggles? is right for me, which one fits my face and which one is according to my requirements. So choosing FPV goggles, things to consider. Do you fly mini or micro quadcopters? If not, if you flying camera quad or fixed wing, it's best that you go for box goggles that has high definition and also head tracker. If you fly quadcopters exclusively then ask yourself this question do I wear glasses if I do is my power between negative 2 to negative 6 or higher than that if it's higher than that then you can't use fake shot type of goggles if it's less than that between negative 2 to negative 6 then you can use fake shot type of goggles by using diopters that you can buy cheaply or you can use specially made one which is a bit more expensive the other thing that you also need to consider is if you really need HD or 1080p if you do then you're looking at the wrong type of goggles for you because at this stage the factual type of goggles is based on analog um, video because that creates the least latency and that's the best for fast video footage with very very little latency so if you're looking for HD or 1080p then look away just go for box style type of goggles um, and you have to have a HD or 1080p type of uh, video system to use that otherwise if you're happy with and accept the analog type of uh, video, then you can continue asking yourself other questions. Is this a long-term commitment to fly a quadcopter? If it is, and do you have the budget? If you if you do, then you can choose a fake shot type of goggles because it's really expensive and it's more of a long-term investment. If not, you can just go out there. And it's just buy any other of the entry level cheap type of box style or fake shot type of goggles. So assuming that now the goggles fit you and you like the design, and you can correct your vision using uh, diopters, the next thing that you need to consider is really uh, the most important thing is field of view. This is really based on your preference because say for example you go to the cinema do you want to sit very far away from the screen or do you want to go to IMAX or do you want to be uh, just reasonable distance from the screen so that's the field of view that you can see inside the goggles so the field of view can range from 25 to 50 but from my personal experience the best minimum that you can go down to is really 32 and the least minimum is 30 and uh, the optimum field of view for quadcopter flying is really around 42, 45. Maybe if you can stretch it, 50. So if you know which field of view that you want, then there's a lot of uh, facial type of goggles out there nowadays that you can choose from. They range, they range from Top Sky, uh, Omway, Sky Zone, Sky Zone, and Fakeshot. So just choose the right FOV for you and look at the price and see whether you can afford to buy the goggles or not. Then the next thing that you must uh, look at is really the aspect ratio. Do you want 4.3 or 16 by 9? If you want 4.3 and with the ability to switch to 16 by 9, if it is uh, the default aspect ratio, then when you switch to 16 by 9, then the 16 by 9 will be a bit smaller FOV so it's the same the other way around so the best approach is really 
what is the best for you and it is, if it is within your budget. It's not looking for the best goggles that you can find out there because with the uh, analog system, all the goggles have the same uh, resolution and also the same uh, clarity, very very similar. So there's not much difference between the goggles for maybe except for uh, the LCD screen versus the like Alcos screen. The Alcos screen may be a bit uh, clearer but the image is a bit softer. Uh, at the moment the Alcos screen has a bit of an issue especially with Top Sky with uh, some uh, color uh, degradation during use. So at the moment it's not a good alternative. So LCD is still the best alternative. So other than that, just remember, flash up type of goggles is still an analog system, especially for flying mini quads or micro quad. So if you can accept that, then it's very easy for you to find the right goggles for you, which is which one fit your face, which is the best FOB. And in terms of the minimum features. They need to have DVR, uh, IPD adjustment, diopters, and the usual HDMI, DV in, uh, audio in, audio out, and so forth. So, for the rest of this video, you're going to be watching me explaining the technical side of the, uh, the goggles, the screen, the resolution, and also the minimum features of the goggles. You don't have to watch the rest of the videos because I have already summarized to you as to how you choose the right goggles for you. It's really asking you this, yourself the question, is it right for me? Not which one is fake shark killers. So hope you guys get something out of this video. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And Please remember that quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time. The video receiver for a uh, fat shot type of goggles is very important because it will help to improve the video quality because if you don't have a, a good video receiver that can create a strong video link, you're going to have a lot of glitches dropouts, fades, tearing, latency, screen freeze and so on. So a good receiver also comes with OSD and you can update the uh, receiver and also sometimes it comes with a mic. And um, also if the Pro or Razer pilots they also requires better receiver so usually they would go for clear view, immersion RC type of uh, receiver that costs more money. So they need to have these options of uh, putting those type of receiver on their goggles. And even with standard receiver, you also have different type of receiver. You have also fat shark or LED type of receiver, which by the way is a really good receiver and also the Furious 2D and there's also constant ongoing improvements of uh, receiver technology. So this is um, on the quest for better video link and because it's constantly changing and so if you have built-in receiver your receiver is going to be outdated as soon as you buy the receiver. So if you have a built-in receiver, there's also other issues like if it breaks down, then you cannot replace it and also there's, you cannot upgrade it. There may or may not be OSD there. So in relation to uh, whether you want a built-in or modular type of uh, receiver, it really depends on what you want to do with it. If you just want it to fly around and uh, in, it will last you for a few years 
you don't need any specialist type of uh, video link then a built-in receiver is maybe more than sufficient but if you want to future proof your, your goggles it's best that you buy a modular type so that you can swap in the receiver if you are able to buy a better receiver in the future or your flying needs change What a wonderful So the clarity of the video across different brand of goggles is very similar so there's not much to uh, differentiate between them so you can feel safe to choose the different brand of goggles as long as the field of view is right for you but the one thing that can contribute to screen clarity or video clarity is the screen type so there's currently LOCOS Lycos screen and LCD screen but the LCOS or Lycos screen hasn't been implemented uh, properly in the goggles yet which is very evident in the top sky goggles so the only option left is the LCD screen which is on every different brand of goggles 
So you'll be flying so fast by the this point surrounding in front of you. You just look straight ahead and getting from point A to point B. So there's really no need to have a very clear HD type of uh, video in front of you. All you need to have is just a very clear video that you can make out all the uh, shapes of trees and uh, obstacles that you'll be flying around. So the screen for the FB goggles are just two screen. They're usually in a resolution of 800 to six, times 600 or 854 times 480 or the HD, full HD or 720p uh, screen. Because they are uh, quite modern type of screen, LCD and alcohol screen, so the lat latency will be very minimal. So both of the alcohol screen and the uh, LCD screen will produce a very similar uh, picture quality except that the alcohol screen can give you a much clearer but softer video. But anyway, screens is just one of the uh, factors that make your video quality clear. The other thing is also the size of the screen. That's the field of view. So the smaller the screen, because this is analog video, the clearer the picture. So say for example you have a 30 degrees field of view, that will have clearer picture than a uh, 32 degrees field of view because it's smaller, it's further away from you. So if they have the same resolution, definitely the smaller screen has clearer pictures. And if you blow it up to about 42 um, degree field of view, then that will be even more blurry. But then because the 42 degree field of view has 800 by 600 resolution, so more or less it will create a picture that's very similar to the uh, 640 times 480 aspect ratio analog video. So but anyway, for the rest of this part, you will see that I'm doing an experiment with the uh, FPV video. So I take uh, FPV video and put it in a very small size and blow it up a few times and then I reduce the size again a few times just to let you see the difference of the video clarity from small to big and big to small. So the next thing that can help with giving you a better picture clarity is the FPV camera. So the modern FPV camera is created with uh, especially for very low laten latency and uh, providing for the best possible dynamic range. So it basically means that it gives you a very uh, clear picture with minimal latency so that you can see all the colors in the pictures and you can distinguish between different shapes. And also the camera comes with uh, different uh, resolutions so because it's analog video so it does it doesn't mean that the higher the resolution the better picture it, it will give you so the best resolution is probably uh, 600 because it gives you gives you the lowest latency so this will contribute to giving you a better picture and the final thing that can help with a better picture is the receiver. So if your receiver can give you a very solid video link, you're going to reduce a lot of the glitches, dropouts, uh, tearing and latency, freezing of, of the video. Because of this, you won't see the fuzziness in the video. So you reduce that by reducing that you will have a clearer picture. So combining the screen itself and the FPV camera and the receiver, 
provided they all work together and you have a strong video link you have a good camera then your picture quality in the screen will be in the best possible clarity